Hello, everybody, and welcome to tonight's Section 5 matchup between the Hornell Red Raiders and the Penn Yen Mustangs. I'm Bob Fleischer, broadcasting from the Maple Street Dodge Broadcast Group. Penn Yen comes in at 5 and 3, Hornell 6 and 1. Here we go, Liberto to jump for Hornell. Number four, Kyle Erna jumping for Penn Yen. Goes Penn Yen's way. Coming down with the ball is number one, Peyton Shuck. He's a captain, scored 20 points this year so far. Timmy Smith down underneath for Hornell on defense. There's a shot up and out. Rebound though, put back up. Didn't get it to fall. That's number 10, Colton Smith. Fouls on Hornell's number four, Jackson White. Welcome those watching on Facebook Live. I'm Bob Fleischer from the Maple City Dodge broadcast booth here. It's the second one to fall. Chase Freeland sees a lane and takes it. And offensive. Hope he's all right. Comes down kind of hard, but it could have gone either way. Position that time underneath by the penny. I didn't see who that was, but Looked like he had decent position. No good that time by Nicholson. Oh, no, can't handle it on the outside, losing it out of bounds. Mustang's ball. Good help that time by Smith, but the turnaround jumper that time by Smith is good. Colton Smith, that is. Timmy Smith with a shot, no good. Brought down by Colton Smith. Nice give and go. And Colton Smith drops it in for a five to nothing lead by Penyan. Nice take that time. By Freeland, saw Lane, hope he's all right. He looks a little, after taking that hit, you can see he's in pain. He's back. Stolen away. Another one. Time by Freeland. So just like that, Hornell. Cuts it down to a one point lead. Outside shot by Colton, no good. Rebounded underneath by Chase. So it's been the Chase show here. Look at that.
turn around. Liberto put some hands on the ball that time. Good job, Vinny. That's a good thought by Stutzman. Don't worry about it. That was a great play, actually, I think. And if Liberto would have been, could have been cutting, which he probably should have been, he always got a cut there. So that wasn't, I don't think that, I would put that on Tanner. I'd put that on Vinny. That ball was almost perfectly placed if Vinny was cutting, which he should have been. Always cut toward the basket. Yeah, over the back. That time. <laughs> yeah, obviously, you can see Chase is not 100% here after taking that spill. Stutzman gets it out and stolen away by Smith. Some lazy passes by Hornell. Colton Smith for the Mustangs takes it in. That's Bish, and Bish is going to be called for a travel. Shot by Berna, no good. Shot by Cover. It's Mason Cover. Point is Brendan Prather. Nice take that time by Mason Cover. Nine to four now, five point lead by the Mustangs. Timmy Smith for three is good. That should be a foul, yep. with it. Freeland for three. No good. Get your hands up, Vinny.
Nice block. Again, Stutzman comes down with it. Nice pass, Alberto underneath. Nine to nine. Game of many runs for the Red Raiders. Liberto, oh, nothing there. It's gonna take us to the end of one. 11 to nine, Penyan up on top. Stop down today and see why people drive for miles to come do business with us here at Maple City Dodge. We were looking all over for a Jeep and couldn't find what we wanted. We stopped at Maple City Dodge, found exactly what we were looking for at the price that we wanted. Come on in to Maple City Dodge, where we'll find you the right car at the right price. And I'll guarantee that. got a great driving record. Every insurance company wants you. Recognize how valuable you are. Go to the Ryan Agency for the right insurance, price, coverage, and service. Insurance protection you can rely on. The Ryan Agency. As we start the seconds. Jackson White gives away to Piccolo. Liberto over to Freeland. Freeland takes a little shot is good. Chase Freeland. Ties things up at 11. And a foul underneath. on your finger. Oh, White, not sure what was, well he decided to take that shot, but not the best decision there. Got too fat, Penyon's too fast, and when I mean, you got someone on you like there, can't shoot that outside shot, no good. Rebounded by Timmy Smith. Chase free. Chase Freeland with the offensive. Shot was made by number 24, Peter Nicholson, 11th grader, six foot two. Like I said, Penyon's got some tall kids in here, so it's gonna be tough for Hornell to get it inside. And like I said, even shooting outside, we saw that Jackson White tried to attempt the three and it got blocked there. It's just, 
you either got to release it real quick, or I would fake, let the guys go up and draw the foul. That's what I would do. You know, if they're going to leave their feet like they do, just do that. You know, maybe get a foul. Counters and Ferris, your workers' comp attorneys, offices in Buffalo and Rochester, call 585 262 comp. Greg Connors, Connors and Ferris, attorneys at law. And by Hornell Gardens, our Hurlbut Care community, call 324-7740. Long-term care facility, short-term rehab. For a tour, call them today at Hornell Gardens. Okay, and here we go. Still 15 to 11. Jackson White is going to be ridden by number 10 that time, Colton Smith. They've only got one, pl two players under six feet tall on this Penny and team. So it just tells you how big they are. White, oh, dishes it. Uh, Stutzman wasn't aware that it was coming, and that's the worst thing as a coach you can see is when you're not ready for the ball, you should always be expecting the ball as a player. And that was a great dish by Jackson White that time. And Stutzman unable to capitalize. But. Oh, there's a reach by Stutzman now. Stutzman's first. A little too easy underneath that time, leaving wide open number 24, Peter Nicholson. He's not going to win you any games. The drive by White that time. Good recognition by Jackson. Saw a lane there. And he sinks the second one. Good job, Jackson. Never want to miss two free throws. <laughs> One's bad enough, but two is inexcusable. They call them free throws for a reason. And good job, Marty or Thomas Piccolo. I'm sorry, in there for the. Steal. Oh, Piccolo thought about pulling the trigger, but didn't. I think he should have. But good. Oh, drive by Stutzman that time. Good job, Tanner. Draws the foul. That's exactly what you got to do. The second you get the ball, you have to know what you're going to do with it. You're going to be a triple threat. You're either going to shoot it, pass it, or dribble it. And that's exactly what Tanner did right there. Got the ball and immediately drove the lane, drew the foul, and gets a chance to make some free throws if we can make them today. Good defense by Hornell. Yeah, Jackson White can't afford to get his third. And taken away. Piccolo up front. Freeland. Look at that take. Oh, beautiful. Just so quick. Just Penyon doesn't have an answer for him. I don't think any teams do. Just an amazing little player that Chase Freeland is. And he's only 11th grader. Oh. 
And the recognition up front, White finishes things off. Today's game brought to you by First Heritage Federal Credit Union open up their newest branch, corners of Mays and Seneca Street across from the Hornell High School. Stop in and check out all the financial services that First Heritage can offer you. First Heritage Federal Credit Union. Airtight of New York, spray foam insulation, commercial residential, new and old constructions. Airtightofnewyork.com. Log on there today or call 368-2842, airtightofnewyork.com. And by Poulos and Roselle, Tim Roselle, Bill Poulos, attorneys at law, call 324-7333 or stop in at the Crossroads Professional Building, Poulos and Roselle. If you're just joining us for the varsity game, do on our Elderwood first, Elderwood and Hornell, one Bethesda Drive and Hornell, stop in, take a tour of Elderwood today. Seventeen to sixteen. <clears throat> Second quarter here from Penn Yen Academy. Penn Yen, New York, and the tip of the Finger Lakes Cuca Lake. There, yeah, there's a travel. Ooh, I hope everyone's all right. So they're gonna play a, keep a man right on, <laughs> or, uh, Jeez. You know, I, I've been saying it for a long time. I always wondered when a team was going to finally do that. Just keep someone shadowing Chase. I'm not sure it's going to do much good, but you take away their best player, and it's going to be hard for Hornell to score. Just like that, Chase. Oh my goodness, if you watch that, Chase dribbled it off the back of the, or just bumped it off the back of the other guy's head or back. I didn't see exactly what it was and came right in bounds, grabbed it, and shot it. Just when you think you've seen it all, Chase amazes you again. Hmm. Just didn't finish the basket, unfortunately, but still, you just gotta watch out for stuff like that. reach in from behind that time on Stutzman. Look at that. Jeez. Uh. I think 
<laughs> it's just funny because Chase looks like he hurts himself. Oh, there's a, is that a three pointer? No, just a two. Just watch Chase Freeland if you guys want to watch how to play basketball. Timmy Smith. Finally takes the lead here, 20 to 19. I mean, Hornell is a talented basketball team as it is, but just the extra, and all these players can play it. Just that extra things that Chase does is amazing to me. Underneath. Things up at 21. Chase, oh, and tried to feed it to White. Not a bad idea, but they found her right back there quickly for Penny, and I think that was number 24, Peter Nicholson, that got right back there. Good hustle by Mustang's defense. <laughs> nice save by Chase. Oh. Connor Smith. Timmy for three. And that's a three. Maybe they gave him only two on that. That's the end of the quarter, but it, yeah, it's going to be 25 to 23. That's going to take us to halftime. We'll be back with the second half after this. First Heritage Federal Credit Union brings you Kasasa. What's Kasasa? It's an easy way to earn up to 39 times more interest on your money that just might make you want to dance. ATM refunds, no monthly fees, outstanding local service, and way more interest than those mega banks. What are you waiting for? Switch to free Kasasa checking at First Heritage Federal Credit Union. If you get hurt at work, call 262-COMP today and get the results you deserve. Connors and Ferris, your workers come attorneys. Okay, welcome back. Start of the third here. Chase Freeland with 14 points in the first half. Leading Hornell. Carry that time. Side shot by Bruna is good. And 
Inside Stutzman. Oh, nice try. Nice. Oh, now offensive though, unfortunately. Tanner has three fouls. So he has to take a seat. Cornell down by one, 26-24 on the John N. Dagan scoreboard. Nice take. Didn't see. That was number 23, Connor Fingar. Nice jump stop that time by Stutzman, but throws it away. Or not Stutzman, that was Freeland. Two hands up, Timmy. Good defense by Smith. And gets the rebound. Smith with the drive, and they're counting it. <laughs> One shot, that's what I, <laughs> I'm asking the same thing. He goes, when did, where did he follow him? Because I thought it was on the ground too. Head coach Marty Gibson questioning it. But Hornell will take it, I'm sure. Bounds turnover. Oh, Hornell turns the ball over as Timmy Smith doesn't expect it. And then a reach. Gotta pay attention. No, the ball's always coming. Timmy should have had. Yeah, what was that travel? Yeah, there was something a little missed. I couldn't tell if it was a travel or not. Game here, 28-27, Penn Yan. Freeland for three, no good. Rebounded by Smith. What happened? Not sure what they call it, something on the sideline? <laughs> I don't know what. Why they stop play. Nice little spin by Liberto. Great patience that time, Vinny. Don't fall. That's gonna go out of bounds, Hornell's ball. Oh, underneath, look, Piccolo, the beneficiary. Nice pass by Bish. Oh boy, beautiful. You love to see 
court presence that time. Just where were you, uh, being aware where you are and knowing where your teammates are. Just a great play by Hornell that time. Hornell extends their lead to 31-28. Today's game brought to you by the Ryan Agencies. Offices in Hornell, Wellsville, and Jasper. Call 324-7500. Stop in at 52 Broadway in Hornell. The Ryan Agencies Insurance Protection. You can rely on, thanks Jeff Ryan and his staff, at the Ryan Agencies. Main Street Redemption Center. Get your cans and bottles in the Main Street Redemption Center. 286 Main Street in Hornell. Open seven days a week, nine to six Monday through Friday, nine to three Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, the only one on the court that time, Timmy Smith goes, how, how can they get a fresh 35? And I was thinking the same thing. Timmy's pointing at the 35 second clock, but no one pays attention. I guess he just determined that he had Foul underneath that time. Was that number four, Berna? Yes, it was. That's his second, so he's going to take a seat. Pass. Beautiful job head time by Pena and Mustangs. Recognizing what they needed to do and great passing. Timeout by Hornell. Thirty-one thirty on the John N. Dagan scoreboard. Speaking of John N. Dagan, general trial practice probably serving the Southern Tier since '89. Three two four sixty six nine. I got to change this photo. He's got. He's a lot more grayer than that now. This photo's got to be from about twenty years ago real estate. <laughs> Maple City Dodge Airport Road in North Ronell. Stop up and check out the great savings on used cars as well as Dodge Chrysler Jeep news cars. The 2019s are on the lot. Maple City Dodge. Mike Palmer Plumbing and Heating Air Conditioning Coal Service. State Route 36 in Carolina Steel. Call 698 4444. Mike Palmer Plumbing and Heating. So 31 30 here in a great game from Penyon High School. One else possession. Like an unforced error. Right 
Oh, the kick out. Freeland. Rebound. Beautiful job by Liberto underneath. Hits it to Timmy Smith. Stutzman. I'm oh, sorry, it was. Um, who came in? Okay, Jackson White did, okay. There we go, Liberto. Good job, nice try. Ooh, are you all right? Hope he's all right, but it's gonna be Hornell's ball on the turnover. in for three. Nice try by Tommy Piccolo. Good hustle, Tommy. Blocked than an offensive, but four seconds left. Freeland. Oh, he should have taken it himself. Uh, it's going to take us to the end of the third. In life, some surprises are good, and some surprises aren't. You'll be pleasantly surprised by how much cash you could earn with our Kasasa Cashback checking account. With Kasasa Cashback, you could earn 2% cash back on your debit purchases just for using the account. Plus, your ATM fees may be refunded. There's no monthly fee, no minimum balance, and no unpleasant surprises. Call First Heritage or visit us at fhfcu.org to open your Kasasa Cashback checking account today. Some restrictions apply. Okay, and here we go with the fourth quarter. Jackson White. Why, why is he, why, did, I was just gonna say, why is he lowering his shoulder and going into him? Uh, Jackson, just go up with a normal layup, do a little Euro step or something there. I think he, I know he's trying to draw the foul maybe, but I knew that was gonna happen right when he did it. It's his third foul. 
You're one on one there. Stop and pop, do something else. Three is no good. Nice put back that time. It's, it's number 12. Devin Gerhardt. Back on top is Ben Yan. Stutzman. Cornell with just the turnover city here. Get Freeland all the way. Oh, almost all the way. Timmy, the back door. Beautiful Smith, the white. Great job, Timmy and Jackson. Way to take that back door and the throw away. That was picture perfect that time. White cutting the lane, knew he had it. Smith recognizing, and the deuce. for three, and that, I guess he has to move back a little bit, because that was a picture-perfect shot, but from NBA range. <laughs> uh. Hornell, 36-32 now. Yeah, that's, I figured it out now. That's the problem. He's shooting from just right at, at the three-point line. He has to move back to NBA range. So, <laughs> Jillio's Plumbing, LLC, Heating and Cooling. Call 607-382-0836. Chad Jillio from Jillio's Plumbing and Heating, proud supporter of Red Raider Sports, the Ryan Agencies. We already talked about them, so I'm not going to read their ad again right now. <laughs> Talk just a little bit about what's going on. I actually got to reset my clock. It is six minutes and six seconds left in this game, so I'm gonna reset that. Show you the crowd here from Hornell. Here's the Freelands. <laughs> Freelands are here. And, uh, everyone likes to be on camera except them. Um, 606. You see the beautiful crowd that's here. <laughs> yeah. So 36-32. Here we go. Turnover. Freeland recognizes that, sees everyone backing up and decides to take it in. The dish. White for two. Oh my goodness. Cornell up by six. Two hands up. Outside shot is good. I didn't, who was that number? Outside shot. Look at that three was by uh, Peyton Shuck, one of the captains. And a turnover on the backside. Don't 
won't force anything. Use the clock here. Oh. Dish, Liberto. Yeah, pull it out, that's right. You need to set yourself up for a nice shot. There's a stupid foul, a reach that time by Shuck. He knows better than that. Get your hands up. Let him hit you instead of. Well. And Connor Fingar to the line, six foot one senior. send someone to the line or not, I guess, on that. But. Chase thought he was trying to weasel in there and shoot, but <laughs> yeah. But it's always the one they uh, caused the foul on, and Jack, I think. Yeah, it's time. It was Piccolo, so Jackson tried to go in there. <laughs> oh, that was funny. So Piccolo, <laughs> now he's shooting. Uh, after everything's figured out there. <laughs> Foul on Freeland. Trying to ice him. Dave Freeland joining us from Binghamton. Or wherever he is. <laughs> he's in Hornell. <laughs> he lives in Binghamton, but he's joining us from Hornell. Uh, anyway, anywho, 
Happy New Year coming up to everyone. Hope you want to have a hot, great holiday season. Main Street Redemption Center, get your cans and bottles in the Main Street Redemption Center. Open seven days a week, 9 to 6, Monday through Friday, 9 to 3, Saturday and Sunday. Tomorrow is Sunday, so you can go in. John and Dagan, general and trial practice, probably serving the Southern Tier since 1989. 324-6690. Thanks, John, for your support. Maple City Dodge Airport Road in, Horn in Hornell. Thanks, as always. Mike Palmer, plumbing and heating, air conditioning, coal services. Longtime supporter. Thank you. And Dr. John Wine, Dr. Joseph McKay, also a longtime supporter of Quaish Sports and Hornell Red Raider Sports. Thanks for your support. Call 324 7246. And Connors and Ferris, workers' comp attorneys. Always make sure you shop locally, support the people that support us, and otherwise you wouldn't be able to watch this game. And I've been happy to have these, most of these advertisers on here for a long time, like John Wyand and John Dagan, Connors and Ferris, Maple City Dodge. A lot of these guys have been on for multiple, multiple years. So at the line, number four, Kyle Berna, six foot one, eleventh grade. And if you're just joining us, there's there's only two players on Penyon's team that's shorter than six foot, <laughs> and they're six foot ten and six foot eleven. I think it says on the without looking real quick. So they got a very tall team. Oh, I'm sorry, five foot nine is their shortest. That's uh, that Peyton Shuck, the one that's on. Number one there, who's blocking uh, the shooter there that time. Time out. Great save by Chase. They just joining us. I love they have a DJ here that plays. And look how it keeps the crowd pumped up. Hornell's got to do something like this. Got his own setup over there. A school employee or a school or a student? I'm going to check with the AD and find out how they do that. Hornell should have something like that as well. Hornell Gardens, a Hurlbut Care community. Thanks for your support. First Heritage Federal Credit Union. Our new, those both are newer advertisers the last year or so. Airtight of New York. Kevin Wilkins from Hornell owns that, and it's right in Hornell. So if you need any assistance, call 382-2842. Of course, Poulos and Roselle, Tim Roselle, Bill Poulos, they've been longtime supporters for many years as well. And Elderwood at Hornell. One of our newer advertisers here in the last few months. So. 327, Hornell up 39-36. Billy Johnson says he's watching along with the watching the Sabres game. What's the score of the Sabres game, Billy? A lot of hitting going underneath there, but no fouls. Going away, Freeland up front, White by himself. The easy deuce. Hornell up by five now. Hornell just too quick for this Penyan team. Oh, he got to take away baseline that time, Vinny. Good drive. That time by Berna. Freeland sees a lane, kicks it out. That's right, bring it out, good job. There's a reach, but no call. Nice, oh, 
going away anyways. That was a nice give and go that time. Could tie the ball game up here with a three, Penyan can. Underneath, two hands up. There's the outside shot. No good. Put up by Shuck. And there's a charge. Or not a charge, I'm sorry. A block by Piccolo. It's going to send Prather to the line. Brendan, Brennan. Pra is either Prather or Prather. I'm going to say Prather. Six foot 11th grader. Sabres are up two to one. As Billy Johnson reports to us. And you want to watch the save or the Syracuse Bonaventure game today. Just really disappointed. Not a well played game by Bonaventure. Just you know, just didn't didn't even look like high schoolers out there. They looked horrible. And just not a good coaching. I know they're playing Syracuse at the dome, but they play team stronger than they did today, and that was just not a very good game by Bonaventure. Go, strong, there you go. The kick, oh no, not a good decision. And a hold. I like that he drove that ball, but he's got to go up for a layup right there. Last time, the Bish shot. Alabama's up 21. Dennis Price chimes in 21 to nothing in the first quarter. Notre Dame got smoked, so it looks like it's going to be a Clemson. Alabama game. There's a foul. And they send Freeland to the line. Important free throws with 104 left. Missed the first one. It goes right back to Freeland, though. Timeout, Hornell. The tall kid, Fid kid, right there with his back to us, with the black hair, with the white stripe on his. That's Federico Toto. He's the Italian exchange student. Is the manager here for. Played soccer for Hornell this past fall and did a good job. And not a bad. Watched him play in practice and stuff. He practices with the kids and stuff. And not a bad player. But uh, decided he wanted to just be the manager. Jillio's Plumbing. Thanks for your support again. Their facilities. The last time you get some of you guys, like John Wyan and stuff, you obviously have been here several times, but nothing has changed. It's still John and Kim, obviously, both. So here we go with a little under a minute left here 58 seconds. Arnold up by one. Cornell's ball in the inbounds. Well, they went way out. <laughs> Underneath, Timmy. The turn around, and it counts. Timeout, Penyan, Horn up by three. 
Oops, my clock's still ticking. We're going to reset it. So... I'm surprised I haven't been kicked off Facebook because they do not like when music's played. Even though I have no control over it, it's at a stadium. But I know this game, once it finishes, will be probably kicked off Facebook so you won't be able to watch a replay of it until if you watch it on Spectrum Cable Channel 1301, which is Place TV. So, just so you know. So 37.7 seconds. I don't care. Some fans from neighboring schools. I see some shirts over there from Geneva. And Funny thing is, there's Danny Stutzman, a graduate of Alabama, glued to his phone in the court. You can see him looking down. <laughs> uh, doesn't want to miss a play of Alabama football. But I guarantee he's going to run out of here the second this buzzer sounds. <laughs> okay, here we go. Three-point lead, no fouls. The drive, no good. A three-pointer put up, no good. Down the court. Oh, blocked. I'm really surprised Chase didn't try taking it out, maybe because he knew he was being chased. Miss. And there's a foul underneath. But Chase, I think, probably thought he could make the shot. But good hustle. I didn't see who that was, but good hustle by the Penyan player. There's actually seven seconds left on the clock, so. But Timmy Smith's going to go to the line, I think, for one and one. Don't forget to give us a like. Let other people know you watch this and like the broadcast. And there's going to be a timeout and a share. Maybe people can tune in with the last seven seconds on the line here. You see, that's what coaches do. Good Coach Wilkinson and Skull's talking before he talks to the players about what to do, especially when you have a full minute timeout. You always see that in college and stuff, too. The coaches get together check everything, the time, how many timeouts they're left. I'm sure that's what Wilkinson's going to check to see how many timeouts. There he's sending in Connor Smith. So let's see what happens here. Jackson White checking in as well. Oh no, I think so. He's either checking timeout or he's checking in, I wasn't sure. So Piccolo, Smith, Stutzman, Freeland, and Liberto on the court for Hornell here with Smith shooting. It's, obviously it's extremely important that he makes the first one. That's a one and one. Bam! So that makes it a two possession, unless obviously they get fouled on the three. I'm sure he's telling them no fouls on any threes. Stay straight up, right? You can see Coach Scholes giving him the instructions. And he makes the second one. So Timmy comes out, Connor Smith comes in for, for speed. But you don't really need to do anything here. It's gonna take him three or four seconds to get down the court. And it's a two possession game, so yeah, they're gonna pressure the ball. They're gonna leave Connor, or, uh, Chase Freeland up here to pressure. No fouls. Three, no good. Let him shoot it. And that's the ball game. So Hornell wins it. 
45 to 40. So I think they're going to. Very helpful. Thank you. Don't forget to stick around in just a couple of minutes. We're going to have an awards. Two trophies to the top players for two trophies this week. I wonder who that's going to be. I'm guessing Chase Freeland will win one of them. Maybe he'll win both. <laughs> Chase, Chase will win both. <laughs> oh boy. So 45 40. Hornell moves to 7 and 1. Penyon drops to 5 and 4. Thanks to all those that are watching. Linda Daly Haynes was on. Ann Nash Stutzman. Stick around for the post-game awards. The Ryan Agency, for all your insurance needs. Some insurance types work for just one company and can offer choice. But the Ryan Agency is your local independent agency, offering options from many top insurance companies. Declare your insurance independence. Insurance protection you can rely on. The Ryan Agency. 's are playing the victory theme from space balls <laughs> sounds like <laughs> they'll get together again and that's it. So from Stephen Carroll Freeland and Bob Peicher, <laughs> thanks for watching. Have a good night. <laughs>